Alright, I believe the stream has now started. So we will now begin today's episode lesson. So... All right, so today is not May. Today is June 28th, 2020, and it is the ninth addition to our Rainbow Chinese Spelling Puzzles. All right, so we will now be beginning. After about nine lessons, you should be able to have gotten the hang of the Rainbow Chinese seven color system and the different structures we can use it to create. Therefore, starting maybe a few weeks ago, we will now be skipping this portion. Skip all of this. And we'll be jumping straight into our questions. The, this is our going to be our first puzzle. I'll be giving you about five to 10 seconds for each one. You may begin. If you guys have anything to say, you can type something in the chat. I think the chat is probably available. Moving on to the next question. This is the next question. This is the next question. This is the next question. I'm going pretty fast this time. If you think I'm going too fast, you can also play back or rewind. This is the next question. This is the next question. And this is the final question. We will now be jumping into the answers of each of our questions. This is the answer to the first question. It creates the character Yu, which means rain. It is made up of a blue horizontal stroke, a yellow vertical stroke, a purple tone zikuang, and these four red dots. If we combine them together, you get the character Yu, which means rain. And Yu Yi, Yi means clothing, which means Yu Yi means raincoat. Yu means rain. This is our next character. It uses the character Yu from earlier. It is the character Xu, which means snow. It has this blue piece and these four red dots. And that combines to create something that looks a lot like you. Looks quite a bit like it. Except, I'm not drawing that. Except it's just a little bit cut off on the sides. 
it's then we have this purple E except flipped in the other direction. It is known as the Xuezi Di. That goes on the bottom with the Yu on top, which creates Xue, which means snow. Xue Ren means snowman, and Hua Xue means to ski. This is the next character. It is the character Zhong, which means middle. This is the this is a great example of the meat skewer structure. It is this yellow ko as this yellow piece called ko, which means mouth, is being skewered by this red vertical stroke. Boom. Therefore, when we combine that, we get the character Zhong, which means middle. Zhongjian means middle, and Zhongguo means China. This is the next character. It's the character Guan, which means to close. Don't mind that notification. It is made of a blue dao ba to on the top, with a purple tian, which means day, on the bottom. Something like that. There's like this arrow, but let me draw this. That. Guan means to close. Kai guan means switch. And guan xing means to care. Moving on, this is the character song, which means to send. It uses the guan from earlier along with another radical. This blue dao ba to and this red tian combine to create guan, which means to close. Then we have this zo zi di on the bottom, which in zo means walk, which zo zi di or zo, it's like a place to walk. And when you send something, you have to walk. So we can say song means send and fa song means send. This is the character Huo, and it means fire. Ah, fire. It uses a Dao Ba To, which has both this green piece and this orange piece. Also, you have a red Ren, which means person. And, well, if you look at it, it does kind of look like a fire. Not that much, though. Huo means fire. Huo jian means rocket. Huo che means train. This is the second to last character. It is the character Hui, which means ash. It uses this blue piece with combined with a horizontal stroke and a left falling stroke. A dao ba to and a blue run. It's like this thing is covering up the huo. Oh, whoops, my bad. Hui means ash. Hui se means gray. And Hui chen means dust. This is the final character we are looking at today. It is the character Tan, which means charcoal. It uses this character Hui, which is made of these two parts, and creates Hui, and uses the blue character shan which means mountain if we put whoops if we put this shan right on top of hui you get tan which means charcoal mu tan means charcoal so this is the map of the symbol characters Yu, Zhong, Tian, Guan, Huo, Hui. When these characters are combined with other characters, we get more complex characters. Now comes the difficult part. Which of these four Chinese characters can make a Chinese cheng yu? Hmm, very difficult. You can ask your parents to see if they know the answer.
Even they might not know. This is actually quite a tricky question. Well, your time is up, and this is the answer. 雪中送炭 snow middle send charcoal, which means to deliver to deliver charcoal to someone's doorsteps in snowy weather. That is the literal meaning. Figuratively, it means to provide timely help, time after time. Let's use this in a sentence. 当他骨折后，好朋友雪中送炭的送来了一周的食物 ，which means when he broke his bones, his good friend kindly sent him food for a week. And well, maybe you guys could use this Chengyu in your life sometime too. Well, this sums up today's lesson. I hope you guys all had a good time, and I will see you all next week. Goodbye.